Afternoon, Andoni. Afternoon. Uh, as we know from all of the media activity this week, 48 points for Bournemouth is a record in their Premier League um, history, which is quite remarkable. I guess you've spoke to your players to say, we don't want to finish on 48 points, we want to finish on 57. <laughs> Uh, I think it's, 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 it's a good news, obviously. It's something that we were uh, trying to get last weeks. But now we still want more points. We know that we have uh, three very difficult games, and starting for, uh, for with tomorrow. But we, we are going to try to keep being competitive in every game. Uh, I think tomorrow is a really difficult game for us, very difficult. They are in a really good form. I think they have no injuries, so I think they will recover Timber and they will be like all the squad available and they are playing for the for the title. So at the end, it's going to be a really difficult game and I hope we can be at, at the level of the game. If someone had said to you at the start of the season that you'd go on to get a record points tally here at Bournemouth, what would your thoughts have been? Would you have believed it was possible? Uh, Normally, I try not to think long term, not try to think in. At the end of the season, I think the uh, table puts you in your place. Where now we know more or less which one will be our position, but it's, it's different. If it's 10th, uh, it's not the same as it is 14th. Or if it's, you know, it's, you have to try to finish as, as high as possible now. Obviously, Anton Semenyo got a nasty knock at at the weekend. Is there any details on him and, and any team news ahead of the Arsenal game? Yeah, no, uh, probably the best news and the best news uh, this week. Uh, the MRI has been clear. He has even doing some things with the with the team this week. So I think he will be he's gonna be involved in the in the squad in the squad. So it's uh, yeah probably the, the best news for us this this week, yes. How big a boost is that because it looked very serious at the time and the Initial noises were that it could be, you know, really serious. Yeah, it looked ugly, really looked ugly. But I think he's so strong. You know, he has so strong muscles that keep his his uh, structure, everything in in place. That uh, everything has been has been clear. Uh, he had some some bruises, but uh, he has been involved in in in, in training already. So and he's, he's he's ready to travel with us and. And he will be part of the squad, yes. Obviously, next, Arsenal. It doesn't get much more difficult than, than that in the Premier League this season. Why do you think they have been so good? When you look at your analysis, when you look at what Mikel Arteta has done, the team, the way they play, what separates them from perhaps the other sides? <laughs> A lot of things that they do very well. But I would say especially that uh, they are elite level Football players, but their work rate, their discipline, their uh, sense of collectiveness is like if they were not elite level. You know, it's, they have this uh, humbleness to to do all the stuff without the ball, recovery runs, uh, and that makes them very difficult to beat. And they don't concede chances, they don't concede goals. Is the team by far of all the league conceding less? Everything, less corners, less goals, less chances, less, and it's, uh, the, uh, I think this is uh, because they 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 have a a very good uh, work rate, uh, uh, probably in comparison to to other big clubs that also have uh, very very good players. But I think they are they are playing really well. There's been seven visits to the Emirates for us uh, for for Bournemouth against Arsenal, seven defeats. Doesn't look good on paper, but of course, <laughs> at the start of the season, you didn't have a, you know, you've now got a record points tally. You'd never been to Old Trafford and you went there and won. This season, you have achieved things that have never been done in the club's history. Is there also a belief you can go to Arsenal and do something the club's never done before? <laughs> there is always a belief. We know everything, the narrative involved in the game. Uh, probably we will be again quite thin numbers wise because uh, we have some some important players out but I think we also are in a good place uh, we want to finish strong and knowing that uh, all the numbers they have all the games they've beaten us even the the game we played against them I think they beat us really easy for them really easy it was a four nil but 
it was uh, probably the, the the game where we felt farther from the opposition. But uh, I think we are stronger now. I think we've improved, and I hope we can we can give them a, a good game. Just two final quick points from me. Um, there's been a lot of talk about set pieces uh, this season, and particularly recently, the importance of defending them, attacking them, using them to your advantage. Some clubs have set piece coaches. Brentford have recently advertised for a new set piece coach to come in and work with Thomas Frank. What, what's the situation here at Bournemouth, and how much of an emphasis and an importance do you place? On set pieces. For me, it's, it's very important. At the end, if you look at the numbers, pff, almost one third of the goals come from set pieces, and it makes a, a big difference. No, uh, in our case, uh, we've improved a lot because we didn't start well. It was something that we knew that we had to improve from even past season, and I think we are in a very, very good place now. We are finishing really strong. We've scored a lot of corners. I think are the Arsenal is, is, is the, 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 the team with more goals scored from corners and I think we should be second, third there. And we have started conceding less and at the end is these kind of things that make you win games or get points in, in, in very level games. We do it, uh, we have uh, Sean and Tommy in church. Obviously we have a collective approach, everyone is involved in the in the set pieces meetings, we try to decide the routines we are going to use. The, but uh, during the during the games, it's very difficult for the managers to to think in the set pieces. No, you have that of things going on, and whenever they are subs, Tommy and Sean are the ones that are more involved with with it. And I'm happy because I'm we are we are doing really well. But also uh, looking at tomorrow, we have to be very ready because uh, we are seeing no, that they are they are scoring a lot from set pieces. Yeah, Arsenal have scored 16 goals yeah. um, from corners this season, which is quite remarkable for a team that actually wants to play football as well. So they've got two ways of hurting you, or more than two ways, I guess, in, in, in that respect. So is this an area of the pitch, an area of the game that will have to be at your very best at? Uh, they are very good. They are the, 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 the team that has scored more corners. But the main reason for me is because they have a lot of corners. You know, because they push you so much, they win your your the advantage. You you are defending very low, so they get a lot of corners. Probably if you see corners per goal, they are not the, the first, but they have so many chances that at the end they are very physical, they are very tall, and they are doing also really well set pieces. No, and uh, it's not just we. No, you play and then normally it's everything is related. They are very good in everything and they push you a lot. And uh, they concede almost nothing for you in the, in the other side. And at the end, they score free kicks, uh, set pieces, open play goals, because overall they are they are really good. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What, what's your other team news? Is Ilya Zabarni fit again after all this? Yes, Ilya Zabarni is going to be available. He has been ill, but uh, one week later, he, he was going to be available. On the other day, I'm thinking uh, Romain Fabre. Romain Fabre has been also a... Uh, no, Tav is out. Mm. Romain Fabre mm. is uh, a call for someone. No. Uh, Romain Fabre is, uh, is going to be available, has started uh, and has, has improved well. I don't think we recover anyone else. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Fair enough. Um, on Antoine, when you came in here on Sunday, having reached the points record, you seemed really down, yeah. presumably because of... Antoine, yeah. how did you feel when you had that news of the MRI? Poof, it was a big, uh, it was not so big of a surprise because next day when he wake up, uh, we assess him even before the MRI and he was feeling better. The, the knee was not so swollen as we expected and we could have some hopes, okay, maybe it's not as, as worst uh, as we expect and uh, the medical staff, staff was pretty optimistic, but until you don't have the results, it's, it's difficult. Uh, we could uh, even feel it in the in the changing room. No, whenever the the game finished after a three 0 everyone was not even very delighted because Antoine, we we could because he's a very very important player for us uh, on the pitch, out of the pitch. He has a very good very good character. He's quite uh, quite open, and everyone loves him. And I think it's it's very good news for us. Very good news. And having achieved the points record. Did you reward the players? Did you give them three days off, take them to the beach for ice creams? <laughs> no, 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 no. They asked me, they asked me for two days, no, but they, 
the plan was done and uh, they will have it uh, after Arsenal two days after Arsenal but uh, no we didn't change we didn't change uh, they always ask whenever they win games is 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 uh, is normal sometimes you, <laughs> you have to concede other times no and uh, this this time we decided that we needed uh, to prepare well for the for this game because we will really need it yeah and just tell me about Enes Unal. Has he had a spring in his step this week after his first start, first goal? I think he has been quite consistent training-wise. He trains very well. He wants to push. He knows that it's difficult to get minutes with Dom and he wants to show that they both can play together. I think he played really well the other day. Uh, I, I value a lot also the performance of Dom Solanke the other day. I asked him... Uh, for sure, he's fighting for being, I don't know, the top scorer or, or with England to the to the Euros, and he played a little bit lower, giving us a little bit more of 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 defensive work, and he did with no complaints. He had a very very good performance. The his his mindset, I I, I really love love it, and I think between Ines and Dom, also they have a, I think a a good relationship. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Let's get the reach. Hi, how are you? Good. <laughs> um, if you read and watch TV and listen to the radio, you'd be forgiven for thinking there's only one team going to be playing tomorrow. The Arsenal. It's all, all about Arsenal, all about them winning, all about the title, which is obvious. But does that give you a bit more of a sort of thought in your mind? Listen, we can show up and we can. No, I think we. It's normal. Eh? It's normal because they are the ones fighting for the title, no? The same way they are talking about City, uh, but we just want to go there, play well, and try to win the game. It's not because we want Arsenal or City to win. No, we don't care. You know, we we want uh, Bournemouth to win or to get the most points we can, and it's our, our mentality tomorrow. Yeah. Your team is a very young team, I mean, apart from Adam Smith and, and possibly Ryan Christie. A lot of the players are, are, are fairly young. Is this season the foundation of what could be for Bournemouth for the next two or three? I mean, I am asking: Is this a fluke or is this the beginning? I don't know. Uh, we don't know. Nobody knows. At the end, there is no guarantee because we've done this season. Next season, we are gonna be even better. Or, no, it's zero guarantee for me. We have to start again next season. The, probably the team will change. I don't know if uh, that, it's not going to change a lot. It's going to change a lot, but we will have to start from zero, like all the teams, and try to 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 keep pushing. It's good for the players individually because very young players have added a lot of experience. I'm thinking in Saba, in Milos, in Dango, players that are 20, 21, 22 years old, Alex Scott that are adding experience, and probably they. Probably not for sure. They are more prepared, but collectively we will have to start from zero next season again. But expectations will be high next season. People will say, this is the former finished tenth last year. Can they get even higher? I don't believe a lot in expectations, you know, because at the beginning of the season we were, I think, the third favourite to get relegated. Third, I think it was Luton, Sheffield and us. Yes, and then Nottingham Forest and Barley, third. We've, now are, we are tenth. You know, it doesn't... Okay, one thing is what we think before the, the season starts. At the end of the day, the table will put you in the, your position. What do you think before it starts? The expectation of it can affect the, you know, the atmosphere outside. But really, uh, I, I don't believe a lot in, in because we've been very good. Next season will gonna be better. No, we'll have to do it very well again and try to improve if we want to get better. Otherwise, it will be worse because other teams, for sure, they are gonna improve. And we'll have to to show it again. But knowledge is power. We now know how good your team is, and we now know how good you are as a coach in this country. I've been good probably uh, during certain period, but probably if we start losing games. You will say no. It's not. It's not. It's not there. It's not. Uh, he has to learn a lot still. You know. Is at the end, it's a results game, and uh, I'm happy with how we've improved. How we've. Uh, We've kept with the same style, getting better results. Uh, uh, we have very, very good stats. Uh, we we are the team we want or we are close to, but we still have a lot of things to improve. Yeah. Two more. Uh, firstly, on Mikel Arteta, I believe you know him really well. Yeah. Um, he spoke very highly of you 
before the reverse fixture. I was at his press conference um, up at Arsenal. A friendship, how hard is that to put on hold for, for, for a day? Yeah, it's, for me, it's not hard. It's, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to play against him and have the chance to, to, to beat each other no, in the Premier League. I think he's doing amazingly well, amazingly well, not only this season. The team has been improving every season with him and I think uh, he, he, he deserves no, to finish also strong. I don't know if they will win the title or not, but they, he's doing very well. And I consider him one of the best coaches right now and for me it's a challenge. Uh, a challenge to, to face a team like Arsenal with the atmosphere involved tomorrow in the stadium. And we have to be really strong. Otherwise, it's going to be a, a tough day tomorrow. We have to be at our best because the level of the game at, and what it's in play is, is very important. And last one, I mentioned many times to you when we've chatted after games about Dominic Solanke and playing for England this summer. And you've always just batted it away. You've not, you've not really given me a, a, a nice answer. <laughs> Hopefully, you'll give me a nice answer. <laughs> but you mentioned just now about last week when you played a bit deeper. Yeah. Bit like Harry Kane, so maybe he's perfect for England to take. Yeah, if he can play in two roles. I, I've talked about this because I really appreciate it, and I think uh, uh, it makes him a much better player because he's fighting for mm -hmm. for uh, earning his spot in the Euros, for being the top scorer, for beating the club's club record, and I ask him to play a little bit lower. He no, no, no problem. He has all his work. He was amazing covering in front of Billy Gilmour, uh, giving us everything he had. And probably he didn't score. He had some chances. He didn't score. Or, or, but at the end, it makes him a better player. And I'm sure every one involved in, in, in football that sees the game, he thinks, OK, he can even do this also. And I think it's, it's, it's good for him. Does he get his passport ready for the summer? I don't know. I think uh, for sure he has it ready. Uh, I don't know if he will have the chance or not.